Let's add two 10 pound weights onto our Maximus 100 and then go right into a, an exercise doing the quadruped hip extension exercise. We're going to use our vertical straps which are aligned horizontally on the side panels of the Maximus 100. All we have to do is open up the cam lock and pull a loop with the fabric. It allows us to put the head of the weight through and stand it vertically on the base. Pull the strap tight until the weight comes right up against the side panel. Make sure your webbing is pulled straight through the cam lock. You don't want to pull it up or down across the cam lock, but you want to make sure it comes straight through it. Keeping tension on the strap, lock your cam lock. We're going to repeat that process on the other side. Cam lock is open. Pull a loop with the strapping. Put the head of the weight through and stand it vertically on the base. Pull the strap tight, keeping tension on it. We're going to lock the cam lock and we're all set for our workout. We'll put the Maximus 100 right back here at the back of our workout pad. And our newer, our kneel pad, just ahead of it. Now we're going to do what's called the quadruped hip extension exercise. Quadruped meaning we're going to get on all fours and then I'll show you what the hip extension exercise is all about. Quadruped means we're going to get on hands and knees with the knees on the knee pad and our hands are aligned here with our balance weights. Each foot should be aligned with a weight on either side of the Maximus 100 and then you can get down on your elbows and grab hold of your balance weight. It's nice to have a 90 degree bend in the arm here between the lower arm and the upper arm. That gives you a good uh, balance position. And then from here, I'm going to start with my right leg for an exercise. So I'm going to balance on the left leg, left knee. Lift the foot up and come into the front of the unit, toes first, and then find the foot strap with the arch of your foot. Now I like to tilt the unit back here and with my passive foot, I'm just going to press on a weight and work the heel of my foot back into the opening and get my arch nicely nestled against the foot strap. Okay, now I'm ready to get into the starting position. And the starting position is this position right here where the unit is just above the heel of the passive foot. Now we're ready to count off a few reps. You ready? Let's go. One. Two. Three, four, five. And when you're doing this exercise, the hip extension exercise is this movement of pushing your leg up to the ceiling and contracting the gluteus muscles. And the most effective part of this exercise is this range right here at the very top. And you want to give that extra squeeze, okay? And then bring it down to the starting position and then we can come down to the floor. You come out of the unit, heel first, and then back into the kneeling position. That's pretty easy, and we're gonna to go to the left leg, and we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna put the uh, left foot in, toes first, and then work the arch of my foot up to the foot strap. Here I like to tilt it back with my passive foot. There we go. I'll work the foot into a nice good position there with the foot strap right against the arch of my foot. I'm going to go back to that starting position right here above the passive foot and then count off five more. One, two, three, four, five. I just remember when you're doing this exercise, when you push out to the end, give it that extra squeeze and that's where the muscle is going to contract the most. Bring it back down to the floor again. Come out heel first. And that's it. Just one thing I want to point out here. There are a couple of movements that we'd like to avoid. So I'll emphasize once again the uh, correct movement for the hip extension exercise, which is come to the starting position, foot pretty level, and then push the heel straight to the ceiling. That keeps the weights vertical and the Maximus 100 stays balanced and level and we get a good workout this way. Things to be cautious of are some different movements that aren't quite in line with a proper hip extension exercise. One I like to call the scorpion and that's actually tilting the heel back 
towards the body and working it back this way. Um, that's not going to work out the gluteus muscles correctly and it tends to get you in an unbalanced position. So remember to go straight to the ceiling with your heel. Come back down. A common mistake with the hip extension exercise would be to push the foot straight outward. And when you go straight outward like this, rather than working the gluteus muscles, which are getting some exercise here, it's actually an exercise for the hamstring muscle. And as you get heavier, what you'll find is it'll end up pulling you downward. And it'll overwork the hamstring muscle, and that can get quite sore if you use that improper technique. Once again, we want to stay in a straight line with our body. The unit shouldn't be coming out side to side, and the knee shouldn't be swinging out side to side either. Everything should just stay vertical with the heel of the foot, just going straight to the ceiling. And I always like to come down in a controlled manner because once you start slamming weights to the floor, it's a good indication that you've got too much weight on there and you should lighten up. Now at this point here, this is where I get what you would normally call a runner's high. But with this exercise, having these big muscles right here at the base of the spine, there's a tremendous release of blood and oxygen to the brain. And then all those fun brain chemicals that give you that so-called runner's high. Big difference here is it's more intense and it's very rapid. It just takes a couple of seconds. One workout usually takes about 45 seconds with both legs and the high hits. So it's a very invigorating feeling. You'll feel very alert, very awake. It's a good exercise to do anytime during the day. It's a good way to take a break and perk yourself up and also work out the most important muscles on your body. So give it a try. Go for it.